Hi everyone, I'm Chad Colby and I wanted to give a little bit more information about my current kind of high-end drone. I got this from the guys at Flying Ag. You can see it in the case. This is the DJI M350. Their kit includes everything you need. And the one thing I really want to point out is how awesome the user interface is. You can see the charging case right there. That's four sets of batteries plus two other batteries to put in the controller. It's super easy to operate. It's super easy to do all the mapping. I don't want to talk about that too much on this video. You can see I also have the radar sensor on the top to see power lines. And of course, we're using that DJI P1 sensor. Now there's optional lenses. I use the 35 millimeter lens, but I need to show you the Mavic 3E is that orange box in the middle. And what I want to show you is just how massive the P1 sensor is. That's such a big deal as far as photogrammetry. Now, another thing that I've done, it's taken me a while to get there, and I wish I maybe would have done it sooner. I love the accuracy of RTK. I use the MLID Reach RTK. It's been fantastic. You can see here on this project, I'm in a quarry, and there's the system taking off. Now, when I talk about the user interface, this is a screen recording here of my last pass, and this is the first person view. And then I switched it over to the map. You can see my last pass right there. It has all the telemetry data there. I can't speak highly enough about this controller. Um, it's so nice not to use your cell phone, not to use an iPad. It has all the data right there. And even as a drone operator, I'm a, a pilot also in general aviation. Everything you want is right in front of you. I know wind speed. I know everything. And I can keep good tabs on the payload. You can see right here, it's taking those images. Excuse me, images right there in real time. You can look at it and ensure you have the data. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is what are you going to do with it? And so my go-to software, really since they've began, and I believe they're 11 years in, is Drone Deploy. And so I took all the data. It's a little over 1,100 images. You can see all those blue dots right there. And essentially what Drone Deploy does is it stitches that data together. But most importantly, you can see all those little triangles at the top. That's what they are. Most importantly, it also, you can tell by the RTK and the spacing of the images, it's so accurate, but it gives you such a good visual view of whatever you're filming. Now, as you all know, I've spent a lot of time in agriculture, but also through the years, I've spent a fair amount of time in the construction industry and also on the aggregate side because drones are playing such a huge role there. And what's neat is you can go to any one of those photos, click on it, and you're going to see here, I, this is just a screen recording, that's the actual image. And then down in that lower right-hand corner, you can toggle between the images. Now, you might see them flip angles. That just depends on where the drone was. And I believe this was on the, on the headlands or on the end when it was turning. But the thing that you can get out of this, especially even in 3D or even in 2D, is some very useful information. And in the aggregate industry and here in a quarry, one of the big things that you can do is do volumetrics. And I mean very accurate volumetrics. Now, Drone Deploy has a pretty neat feature. They call it Stockpile AI. And basically what it does, it analyzes the entire area that you flew. You click on the annotations, and guess what? It's going to tell you any time it saw a pile of material, right? I'm going to turn the photos off, and look at that. There they are. And then you can go click on each one, and you can make adjustments to it if you don't like what the AI did. But look at that data set. Right there, in just a matter of seconds, it's given me what? It's given you all the cubic yards or tons that are there of material. And what's interesting about this is if you repeat this, Say you fly it the first week of every month and compare it to the week before, you can see, you know, what the scale tickets are of how much material left your quarry. And then you can also compare that to how big the pile is moved, right, if you're producing uh, that month or that week or whatever the time frame is. But I really can't stress the biggest thing about this is there's a very easy workflow. You can do this stuff very simply. Obviously, you got to pay uh, by the rules of the FAA, which are very easy to do now. But I love that we don't have all those challenges that we had back in the day with drones. 
uh, long flight times. You can see here, I'm going to measure this conveyor, which is super accurate. Drop a couple uh, a couple dots on the screen, hit the button, and guess what? It's going to tell you how, how far that distance is. So all those basic features there as well. You can see on the left-hand side, um, there's reports that you can send out. I believe in this video here, I go to that screen. Um, you can send out this data um, however you want to to members of your team. But what I really like about that big drone, it just enables you to do it so fast, so accurately, and really produce a lot of great information at an extremely low cost, very safely. Anyway, I just wanted to show you kind of some of the latest stuff I've been working on. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I think that's one of the best things about uh, the Internet is sharing what we learn. Have a great day, everyone, and be safe.